how to update to iOS 13.0 or pretty much any update. This video will go ahead and show you and we're going to cover everything, how to be safe and secure, make sure everything goes smoothly. And I'm excited for the new update. I hope you are. Welcome everybody. I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you're new to the channel, please do me a favor, smack that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. We do iPhone tutorials, tricks, and some app discovery. Plus, we talk about carriers from time to time, a whole bunch of other fun stuff. I also have some awesome blogs on my website at helpfultutorials.net for other issues, so you might want to check that out as well. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and just jump in and show you how to get this updated. First, we want to go ahead and choose settings. When we're in settings, we're going to go ahead and choose your iCloud at the top. And here we want to go ahead and choose iCloud again. And it's going to go ahead and show what's backed up. You want to make sure that anything important to you is backed up before you go ahead and do an update because it's rare, but there are times you can lose your data. So iCloud is free and they do allow a good amount of space. So you could definitely at least back up your, for example, contacts. That's a big one. Calendar, reminders, uh, notes if you'd like. You could even do messages. I don't though. Your Safari bookmarks and anything else you see, you can go ahead and choose. Also your photos, your photos are going to be important. And you're not going to lose your data, but there's always a chance that something bad could happen. And this way you have everything. Once you have everything checked off, you want to go ahead and go to where it says iCloud backup and select that and go ahead and just hit backup now so we can go ahead and update it. You can see my last backup was three days ago. So we'll go ahead and select that. So it does wait usually till it's on Wi-Fi, so it's good to be on Wi-Fi. It's also good to keep your phone charging, especially when we go ahead and do this update. So this will go ahead and back up my stuff. Once we're done with this, we're gonna go ahead and show you the next step. The iOS 13.0 is available for any phone that is an iPhone 6S or higher, including the SE. So anyone with a phone above that will be able to get this back up and it looks pretty sweet. So I would definitely go ahead and set it up. Awesome. We're all set up now. So now we're going to go back to the very main screen. We'll go ahead and choose settings again. And this time we're going to go down and choose general. And we're going to choose software update. This will check for the update and let you know. Sometimes you do have to pull down if it doesn't show. For example, I'll just touch and pull down and it'll do that. So my in is showing 2.04 gigabytes. My wife's was showing 1.83. She has an iPhone 7 and I have an iPhone X. So it looks like the X and up will just have a little larger of a file to go ahead and download, which is no problem. But at this point, we're all set up. All we want to do is hit download and install. It's going to ask for my passcode. And now it's going to go ahead and truck along. It's going to go ahead and ask you to accept. We agree. Sure. And it should start downloading at this time. Estimating time remaining. So at this point, I would just leave it plugged in. You definitely want it on the Wi-Fi because it's important to do that. If you are out of space or low on space, if you have an older phone and not a lot of storage, it may say that you don't have enough space. If that's the case, it may say, do you wanna offload some apps? That's up to you. I would say yes to that. All it does is it deletes your apps. It then updates it. And then once it's updated, it makes more space and then it puts your apps back. But it doesn't delete your history and your customization of the app itself. Once the update's complete, it'll come up and basically let you know it's been complete and it'll say continue. You go ahead and click on that screen. After that, it'll ask if you want light or dark mode. So let's go ahead and show you real quick. If we click on settings, this shows you dark mode here. To so go ahead and change it, you just pull down from the menu. Hold down on brightness and go ahead and click dark mode off. And then this is not dark mode, this is light mode. 
So those are two differences. One is more black and one's more white. So it's up to you what you want it on. If you want the general and about, you can go ahead and see we are on software version 13.0, which is great. If we go back to a software update, it will let us know your software is up to date. And you want to keep this on automatic updates and do updates regularly. I heard 13.1 is hugely better than 13.0. So when that does come out, which it should be right around the corner, you want to make sure you go ahead and update that as well. And at that point, the phone usually runs really smooth. The first update after the big update is usually when the phone really comes together with speed and everything. So excited for that. And if you have any questions on this, please leave them down below. I will go through other tutorials in the near future with the new version and show you everything that has changed. Thank you so much for checking this out. I definitely do appreciate it. Again, feel free to check out helpfultutorials.net for all the videos here on the channel and also some blogs. I also have a free tips and tricks video there you can watch. And I want to thank you so much for the view. Here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy.